Ms. Miner here in the studio and I want to go over the second half of your Modigliani project. Uh, this is where we're going to create an African mask uh, like the ones he was inspired by with his painting. So let's go to the demonstration. Okay, for the second half of your Modigliani project, you're going to need something sturdier. Um, I'm using an old uh, manila folder. Another great thing to use would be uh, a cereal box. That would be great. It's thin enough for you guys to cut, but heavier. I actually didn't have a cereal box. Um, if you don't have either one of those, you can just use plain paper. Okay, so our first step is we're gonna draw the outline of our African mask. Remember, you wanna draw it big enough that it covers your face. And you wanna have a big, long oval. And notice the, the African masks have lots of different face shapes, but we're gonna stick with kind of a long oval. And Ms. Miner doesn't get the perfect shape first time, so I go over it a few times. Okay, now I've got a really nice shape. All right, now think about the features of your face. Okay, so you're gonna want to have some eyes and just simple. So ovals, a hump above, a hump below. A hump above, a hump below. Try your best to make them the same size. Mm -hmm. All right, nose, really simplified. Think geometric shapes. Okay, I've got triangle here. I'm gonna do a triangle here, then it kind of is a rhombus for the nose. Now mouth, semicircle, semicircle. You can add a little bit more detail if you want. And then I'm gonna get rid of that line in the middle. I don't really like how that turned out, but simple shape. So now it's kind of an oval for the mouth. And then you can start to add some other details in your mask. I'm gonna use geometric shapes. Decorate my mask. If you want more inspiration, you can always Google African mass online. So there I've got some shapes. I have the features of my face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And at this point, I am ready to 
color. You can use whatever you have on hand, crayons, colored pencils, markers. colored in with your simple shapes, it's time to cut it out. All right, there it is. There is my finished mask. If you choose to cut out the eyes, make sure you ask your parents to help you because it can be rather difficult. Check out all those bright colors, simple shapes. It's even pretty symmetrical. What happens on one side happens on the other. Okay. Once you are done, have your parents snap a picture of your mask and message me in Dojo. It has really been awesome to see how you guys are staying creative during this time and it really makes my day to see those images. All right, boys and girls, have a great week and I will talk to you soon.